Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on here. Here's a biggie. Ryan. Oh, there's our first line center. Oh, boy. You guys are not happy with me. Before we get into the video, I just want to give a shout out to Famous Goal Horns for allowing me to use that little goal horn for the Ottawa Senators. For that small little intro, I appreciate it, buddy. Link in the description if you want to check out more of the goal horns from around the NHL. Guy does an awesome job. Anyways, you guys are not happy with me, and I guess rightfully so. I didn't have the strongest draft. Now, that was one of my first drafts ever in NHL 19. I wanted to keep my reactions and my thoughts pretty authentic. I didn't do a bunch of grinding beforehand. Now, maybe I should have, but we're going to learn together. I've mentioned this from the start, that Fog of War is going to be something that we're going to have to learn. And I'm glad that we, I guess, I guess screwed up would be the right word. I'm glad we screwed up this draft as opposed to next draft, because next draft is when we actually have draft picks. Now, maybe it wasn't the smartest pick. There was a few people who were saying, what are you doing? Do you not understand? So the four bars on the left, means that it's 100% accurate underneath the binoculars. That's 100% my fault, but you know what? We didn't really end up with that bad of a draft. I mean, some people say, oh, what are you doing? You could have took this player and that player, but this Anderson guy is low elite, and we got him, what, in the fifth round? I think that's pretty damn good. Uh, low top four, we got this guy in the seventh round, so again, that's a really good pick. Uh, another low elite here in the the fifth round so all in all it wasn't really that bad so we ended up having two second round picks which were our first picks in the draft we ended up selecting Matt Malhotra who's a big six foot five defensive defenseman which we definitely need he's a medium top six we got him just outside of the first round 33rd overall and then we selected a left winger I believe he's a sniper uh, yeah there you go Dylan Riley we selected him like 15 picks after 47th overall he had a pretty good year wherever he played. Uh, he played in the U.S. development camp, I think. So then we got another Riley, Xander Riley, who was in the fourth round. So, I mean, it could have been a better draft for sure, but I think the two low elites late kind of saved me a little bit. Now, usually I don't let comments get to me, but this series, I don't know what it is with the comments. They've been getting to me a little bit, and usually that doesn't happen with me. So I'm going to try to shrug it off. I know you guys want to see, you know, better drafting. And I mean, I want to see that too. So going forward, we're going to take our time in the draft. And I'm really going to listen to you guys because that first draft really wasn't that great. And we also got a medium starter in the seventh round. So really, it wasn't that bad. I mean, some people said it was like a six out of 10. Some people said it was like a two out of 10. And some people said they weren't even going to watch anymore. So I'm sorry if you guys were that upset about it. And now let's talk about the Carlson trade because that was the big thing is why did you trade? Carlson he's your best player blah 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 I wanted to make it realistic but I also wanted to get more of a return than what Ottawa actually got and I feel like we got a pretty decent haul a couple of picks we got two roster players and Thomas Hurdle and Timo Meyer as well as a prospect defenseman in where is he way down here and I don't know if he's really gonna grow that much um, where is he he's way the hell down here uh, we got some pretty good prospect defensemen now though with like Johnny Tyconic with Jacob Bernard our Docker, and we also got Ryan Merkley. So definitely um, Jacob Bernard is going to play in the uh, AHL next year. Same with Johnny Tyconic and maybe Ryan Merkley. But Ryan Merkley has that medium top six, which I really, really like. Um, obviously, he's a former first round pick. But with all that being said, Carlson's gone. There's a new uh, there's a new face on the thumbnail for the video. Um, but we're going to have to move on here. We're going to have to move forward. Now, there's people saying that I should just scrap the franchise mode. You screwed up. No, 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 no. I started Ottawa, and I'm going to continue with this team. There's nowhere to go but up from here. Carlson's gone. It's a new age here in Ottawa. Whether a few people stick around or not, probably like 80% of the comments were constructive criticism and positive vibes and there was 20% that were just like cancerous so I'm just gonna let those guys walk that's all good I know my assistant GMs are gonna be here no matter what so anyways 
Anyways, let's get into this thing. So last year, Mark Stone was our leading scorer, 65 points. Jeff Skinner with 30 goals, and we extended him, which was awesome. So we got him for the next three years at 6.5, which I feel like was probably the right idea. A career high in points, uh, playing one less game, obviously. Thomas Hurdle was a guy that we acquired in the uh, Eric Carlson trade. And as well, I'm actually pretty excited to see about a guy, where is he? Uh, I guess he didn't even play last year, which was Timo Meyer. So I guess they scratched him where they didn't even have him on the team. So that's interesting. He's definitely going to get eight. He's definitely going to get some NHL time this year for sure. I wanted to get a few roster players. I just didn't want to get prospects and picks. I wanted to be a decent team next year, even though we do have some picks, which is awesome. I'm super glad we actually have some draft picks because last year not having a first round pick really sucked. So the big ticket right now is going to be Matt Duchesne. I would like to sign Matt Duchesne. I really don't want to let him walk. Um, I would like to keep him. He's our first line center. Without Matt Duchesne, we're kind of screwed. And I don't think anyone's going to sign with us in free agency because we're not going to the Stanley Cup final anytime soon. So I would really like to hang on to Matt Duchesne. We have $23 million in cap, and I think he wants like six. 6.2 for four years. So that's not a terrible contract. I mean, he didn't have the greatest year. He was kind of up and down the lineup. 52 points is just okay. 6 million bucks is a lot though. See, I would be more comfortable with like a two-year deal at like kind of what Jeff Skinner got. 6.5 for two years. I would be okay with something like that. I don't really want to go with a four-year deal. So I'm going to offer you that. He doesn't want an extension, which kind of sucks. Ryan Dezingle wouldn't mind hanging on to him. He was a really good second or third line guy for us last year. He was up there for points. 28 goals. Yeah, he's definitely worth that. 100% he's worth the 4 million bucks or whatever. He doesn't want an extension, so I might have to give him a little bit more money. Let's go with 4.5 for four years. I'll be okay with that. We almost actually sent him to Buffalo in the Jeff Skinner trade, but you guys told me to hang on to him, so I'm glad that I hung on to him. Uh, Timo Meyer wants 4.2, so... He's jumping right into big boy money. Uh, so he, had, he actually did play last year, 29 points, uh, had 20 goals the year before. If you can get back to maybe the 20 goal uh, area, I wouldn't mind giving him some big boy money. Uh, 4.25 for two years, fine. Kind of a small deal, and then once he really proves himself, he can get that big boy money. But Colin White was the surprise of last year, 27 goals, finished second in Calder voting, unfortunately lost out to Svechnikov, who had like 30 goals or something. So 3.5 five million bucks for two years he does want an extension he does want to sign with the team so i'll give him exactly what he wants there you go nathan bull as well i'm just going to go ahead and give ooh three million bucks how about 3.2 for one year let's just give you a nice one year deal keep it slow here i'm going to go ahead and work out some contracts and i'll see you guys in a minute Okay, so as of right now, I see one big hole on our team, and it's something I want to look at in free agency, and that is a defenseman. As of right now, our top four decor, now with Nathan Beaulieu signed, it's Thomas Shabbat, Nathan Beaulieu, uh, we got Gabe from The Office, and Cody Franzen. So that is a really, really weak top four. I wouldn't mind getting another guy to play alongside of Thomas Shabbat and then have Nathan Beaulieu and Cody Franzen play together. So Nathan Beaulieu is back. That's that's good. He was cheap. Matt Duchesne said no. Okay. Weidman says yes, aka Gabe from the office. Dezingle said no. All right. Uh, Timo Meyer, he said yes. That's good news. Uh, okay. That's fine. Just an AHL guy doesn't want to come back. That's all good. Colin White's back for cheap. The legend himself, Thomas Yurko. As of right now, our forwards look like Stone, Duchesne with a question mark, and then Jeff Skinner. And then we got Colin White, Hurdle, and Timo Meyer which I wouldn't mind having that as a line. Or we can put Timo Meyer down on, on the third line. Uh, we also got Ryan, Dezingo, and then Pajot, and then Yurko, Smith, and then Brady Kachuk. So the only real question mark now is our defense and Ryan Dezingo as well as uh, Cody Franzen. So I gotta figure out a few things here. What do I do? So the only real question mark here is Duchesne and Dezingle. I gotta figure out these two guys. 6.5 for three years, how about that? Let's try that out. We're actually not gonna have a ton of cap space, which is kind of unfortunate, uh, especially if I go ahead and give Dezingle like something like this. We're gonna have like three or four million bucks left, which kinda sucks. Those big contracts like Marion Gabrick are just killing us right now. I really don't wanna, oh God, I was just gonna say, I really don't wanna have to 
have to uh, let Matt Duchesne walk. Uh, Dezingle, he says no as well. Damn. Okay, so Cody Franzen's back. That's fine. Those two guys really don't want to sign, and I really don't want to lose Matt Duchesne for nothing, considering how much we actually gave up for him in real life. I don't want to lose Matt Duchesne for nothing. I mean, I'll give him exactly what he wants. I'll even beef it up a little bit. Let's go 6.4 for four years. You know, let's make it 6.5, whatever. Same money as Jeff Skinner. There you go. Now, Ryan Dezingle as well, he doesn't really want to be a part of the squad either. Now, I really don't want to get rid of Ryan Dezingle either. 4.6? God, it's a lot of money, man. He did have 28 goals, though. For four years, 27 years old, he's not going to grow anymore. That's a tough, tough choice. That's a really tough choice. You know what? You'll get paid, all right? You'll get your 4.8 million bucks for one year because you've only had really one good year. I don't think he's going to say yes to that. Oh, man. We could lose Duchesne and Dezingle, which I really don't want to. Matt Duchesne said no, and Ryan Dezingle said yes. Okay, so Ryan Dezingle took a one-year deal. That's good news. But Matt Duchesne is still a big question mark. He really doesn't want to be here. That sucks. That really, really hurts us. Like, I'd go like 6.75 for one year. I guess just try that out. He only wants 5.8. 6.75 for one year. A one-year deal. He mean, maybe he wants a long-term thing, but I don't really want to go that way with Matt Duchesne. Rejected. God damn. What are we going to do here? We're not in the greatest cap position either because you got guys like uh, Bobby Ryan, Marion Gabrick, Clark MacArthur eating up a ton ton of money for us like a ton thomas hurdle's not cheap either but i think he's going to be pretty damn good for us if we lose out on matt duchene that's really going to hurt us big time even if i give him what he wants for four years he's still going to say no i mean i'm not going to give him like eight million bucks he scored 12 goals last year come on duchene i can't afford to lose you for nothing um okay so these guys that's fine duchene said no boys i don't know what i can do here I'll give him one last ditch effort here for four years. Fremont, he scored 12 goals last year. What makes you think you're worth the big boy money? You scored 12 goals. Like if he had a year, maybe like, you know, put up 30 or put up 25, I'd be okay with that. But that's a weak, weak number of goals. 6.2, like I can only offer so much, man. Do we just let Thomas Hurdle take the first line minutes? Oh my God. 6.7 isn't that what i just offered him 6.8 that's it that's my last effort there it is 6.8 for four years that's more money than you're going to get anywhere else maybe not probably a team in free agency is going to overpay and there it is matt duchene doesn't want to sign with us no matter what i tried to re-sign him in the middle of the year he said no and I tried to give him an extension he said no because i wanted to move him at the draft he wanted nothing to do with our team that sucks, man. That really, really hurts us. Maybe we're rolling with Thomas Hurdle. We really couldn't afford to lose Matt Duchesne. Like, that's a huge hole in our in our center core. So now we're going to go with Stone, Hurdle, and Skinner. Oh, man, that's rough. And then we'll go with Ryan, White, and Timo Meyer, And then Dezingle, Pajot, and Kachuk. And then Smith, Yurko, and someone else. Whatever, that gives us a decent amount of money to go ahead and get a defenseman. I would love Josh Morrissey, but unfortunately he's a restricted free agent. Uh, Tyler Myers seems to be the best defenseman available. Him and Thomas Shabbat wouldn't be terrible. He had a great year in 2017-2018. I mean, we have 8.5 million. We're probably going to have to pay 5.5 for Tyler Myers, 5.6. We're gonna have to overpay a little bit, obviously, because it's free agency. 5.75 million, and then we got like three million bucks to work with to get a bottom, um, like a fourth liner, like a guy like Patrick Maroon or something like that. So we gotta wait. Slater Cuckoo is in free agency, and he's not even a restricted free agent. Why are we not giving Slater Cuckoo a contract? And then we can get rid of Borowicki. Let's do that. Let's give Slater Cuckoo a crack. That's, yeah, he's still relatively young and he has a little bit of potential. Who knows, honestly? Who knows? He could turn into something. We'll go two million bucks for one year. How about that? Let's try that out. Slater Cuckoo, he's young enough, never really got a chance in Tampa Bay. Let's go ahead and uh, try that out. 
Signed a couple of defensemen. Now we just need to get a bottom pairing guy. You know what? I think I'm going to hold off. I think we're going to be okay with the moves that we made. Signing, oh, well, hopefully signing Slater Cuckoo and signing uh, big bad Tyler Myers. Because I think we're going to roll with Hurdle as the first liner. And then Kachuk is going to handle the fourth line minutes. I don't really need another forward. Let's go try that youth movement, all right? So we're all about the youth here in Ottawa. We brought up some young guys. And maybe Logan Brown can take that spot as well. So maybe instead of giving a contract, to a guy like uh, like Yannick Hansen, we'll give that role to a guy like Logan Brown if he's NHL ready. Now, I really wish we didn't have Craig Anderson on the books because Picard could be a better option and he's much cheaper. Calvin Picard, 27 years old, would make an excellent backup for us. I'm looking at him for a starter, to be honest with you. Like, I don't even have Marion Gabrick penciled in right now to our roster. I don't even have him on our team right now. So that's just wasted money. That's a ton of cash. We're just letting sit out there in the open world. $4.8 million. And it's only for, what, he's got two years left. Oh my God, that's brutal. Exact same thing with Clark MacArthur, although he only has one year left. I would love to get this contract off the books. I would freaking love that. Who wants him? Does anyone want him? I'll give you to someone who wants to that has the cap space to do it. Because everyone that seems to want him doesn't have the correct amount of cap space. So Montreal can afford him. If, give me like a seventh. Give me anything. I will take literally anything for this guy. Give me a seventh. Come on. I don't think that's ever going to go through. If it does, Montreal, you're ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you very much. You just saved me a ton of money. Thank you very much. I didn't think that was going to go through. <laughs> I didn't have him penciled in, and we just got $4.8 million off the books for the next two years. Thanks, Montreal? Hello? What? So I'm going to leave everything as it is right now. I would love to move a guy like Craig Anderson, a veteran goalie, which we don't really need. But, I mean, if we got rid of Marion Gabrick for a seventh... Anything's possible, really. He doesn't only have one year left on his deal, 81 overall. Like, Calvin Picard would be an upgrade from Craig Anderson. So who wants him? Who needs a goalie? And who's going to go on a little bit of a cup run? Corey Crawford's a 92. Hello? Obviously, that's not legit because the fog of war, but that's crazy that he's up so high at 34 years old. That's ridiculous. Now, if I could move Craig Anderson to a team like Anaheim. Now, I like Craig Anderson, but I kind of want to go in a youth movement here. Now, if I could get rid of Anderson for basically a pick, that would make me happy. I'm going to have to eat a bunch of his contract, but it's only for one year, so that's cool with me. Um, I can give him like, I can eat $2 million. All right. So I'll eat 2 million bucks. You give me a second's not going to go through a third will probably work though. Let's try for a second since they do want him and they want to get rid of, uh, of the second. So maybe that'll go through. You're getting a really good backup goalie to back up John Gibson. Doesn't look like they have a goalie in that backup role. They have like a 70 overall guy. Yeah, so they really don't have anyone, actually. They have no backup goalie, so they are in the market for a decent backup, and Craig Anderson is exactly that. Will this go through for a second? Trade rejected. So it's probably going to have to be a third, which I'm totally cool with. Again, getting more contracts off the books, going for the youth movement here in Ottawa. Let's try for a third, all right? That should go through. I can't see that not going through. Trade accepted. There you go. The Anaheim Ducks fans are going to be cheering in the streets when we announce this deal. There you go. That's fine. Again, we are going in a youth movement here in Ottawa. we got to go sign Calvin Picard. Probably going to be our starter. Um, there's some... There's some more guys out there like Jimmy Howard and stuff like that, but I'd rather I'd rather go ahead and give the money to a younger guy uh, like uh, Calvin Picard, who's 27. I mean, he's not young, but he's a, definitely an upgrade. Definitely an upgrade, that is for sure. Calvin Picard, welcome to Ottawa. I know he's going to sign. We'll give him a $2 million for one year. Let's go ahead and throw $2 million bucks at you. There you go. Let's go 2.1, just because I'm such a nice guy. So Calvin Picard was originally drafted by Colorado. So fun fact, the more you know, Tyler Myers says no. Okay, that hurts. Uh, Slater Cuckoo says yes, and Picard says yes. Ouch. So Tyler Myers doesn't want to come to our team because we're not a winner. That's understandable. That's a big hit, though. That's a big hit. Uh, Josh Morris would be so nice to have, but 
unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't want to pay. I'm going to have to pay at least a first for this. At least. Let's see. I don't even have the correct amount of picks, so we're not even going to be able to do that. Man, our defense is going to suck. There's no one even worth giving a contract to here. Like, Nicholas Cronwall's old. He's not going to want to sign. Oh, man. Matt Duchesne's not going to want to come to Ottawa. We could go all out for a guy like Panarin or Anders Lee or Wayne Train, but I'd rather give our young guys a chance. We're going to let Duchesne go. He didn't want to sign with us. I'm not going to throw a ton of money at him. There's no way that's going to work. I'm just going to move on. We're done here. We signed a few players. We got a new starting goalie. We got Slater Cuckoo. I'm good. I'm happy. We're moving on. Contract. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on here. Here's a biggie. Ryan, oh, there's our first line center. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We gotta give up Ryan Dezingo, but we get William Wild Bill Carlson. Only a 70, 79 overall. So it's probably well, this as a third liner. That's interesting. Obviously, it's not quite legit um, because the fog of war, all that stuff. He had forty five points this year, forty three goals last year. So is Dezingle much better than William Carlson? That's interesting. He had a much better year. Uh, they're the same age, 27. Uh, William Carlson's one year younger. So let me go ahead and send my scout out to scout William Carlson to get a better idea. And then we'll see about maybe getting a guy like William Carlson. Let's see. Just going ahead here and uh, filling out our scouts. We're going to be giving a few offers, a guy in the NHL, probably a guy in the AHL, and then a guy over in Europe. So I'm going to try to get the best ones available. Uh, LaRock, he seems to be pretty good. He's going to where? He's going to the AHL. So we want him to be pretty solid in the AHL. B-A-B-B, -B -B, that's pretty good. Go ahead and give him a nice contract. Now again, none of this money actually matters because we're not, um, we're not actually paying them because we don't have owner mode on. So that's good news. This guy's going to Europe. He is B, A+, plus, A+, plus, A+. Plus. Absolutely. Welcome to the team. We're going to have to wait until the season starts to send our scout out, but remember that. William Carlson for Ryan Dezingle, a second and a third. Remember that, all right? Let's keep that in mind. Because he could be like 84 overall. So they really want Ryan Dezingle. Huh, interesting. But I wouldn't mind having a look at William Carlson. Dezingle for Pissick and a second. So Dezingle is a hot commodity around the NHL. Interesting. We need to name a new captain, and automatically they name Bobby Ryan our captain, the $7 million man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, who else could we name, really? Like Stone and Skinner. He's been here the longest. Let's go with Captain Ryan, all right? If you guys think there should be another captain, let me know. So I got a few things to do here. I got to edit up our lines. I got to put our rookies in for the preseason so we can get a better idea of what they're looking like. And I also got to maybe send our scout out to have a look at William Carlson. So here's kind of what the day one roster is looking like. Clark MacArthur, you're gone. See you later. Just trying to look here where Matt Duchesne ended up with. Uh, I'm just trying to see. It looks like the Bruins got Eddie Lack. I'm making this way too hard on myself. Why not use the player search? That makes it way easier. That's a new feature. I got to use it. So Matt Duchesne ended up with New Jersey. Okay, so you went from Ottawa to New Jersey. So he's going to play with Taylor Hall. Damn, that's going to be nasty. All right, so like 15 minutes later, finally, I've got everything ready to go for the preseason. We've got all of our best prospects up here. Everyone that I kind of want to take a better look at, we have them all ready to go i wish there was like a button where you could go like play all your best prospects instead of having to do it manually uh philip gustafson and hanu tominen who is the guy we drafted in the seventh round medium starter not a bad pick at all and then we got kachuk white timo meyer batherson brown alex formanton riley haynes and then the other riley and then anderson who i do want to get a better look at so i might do something like this uh, we'll give him third line minutes. There you go. He's that low elite guy. So let's go ahead, get the preseason over with. Hopefully that gives us a little bit of a better representation of some of our rookies. Maybe we'll get like a month of simulation done. And then I want to get your guys' thoughts on how everything's going. Maybe for the last two games, I'll switch up the goaltending. Uh, pretty much everyone else has taken the preseason off. Maybe for the last game. I guess the last two games, I'll maybe... Uh, 
go ahead and edit it up a little bit. But three and two, let's see how these young guys are performing. Colin White just killing it. Just a man amongst boys here in the preseason. A goal per game. He's leading it. He's killing it out of boy. Okay, so right away you can see some overalls are starting to come through here. Anderson is a 49 overall. He's got the low elite. Okay, so it only took a few games. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. So Timo Meyer, his role is still undecided. We still don't know a whole lot. Xander Riley, uh, you can see he's a 60 overall. The other Riley is a 60 overall. Kostitsin, 59. Defensively, Malhotra's a 66. That wasn't a bad pick, guys. Wasn't really a terrible pick. Uh, Johnny Tyconic, we all knew about them. And then as for goalies, oh, 41 overall. Oh my god. Okay, he's a project, and then Gustafson is 61. Okay, that 41 overall, is he even worth it? Is he ever going to become anything? Oh my god, that's bad. All right, so we finished the preseason 4-3-0. and oh, Colin White, 7 points in 7 games. Let's get the roster back to where it needs to be, and then we're going to maybe get a month of simulation done. This is going to take a while. I hate this part. I wish there was like a button where you could just go boom, done, easy. That's just... A little bit frustrating. Look at Timo Meyer though. He's up to an 84. Okay. All right. I like that. He's definitely a second liner for sure. So I can see how this is going to be fun in the future when we go actually draft a player who could potentially tie Ronning and make the team out of camp. So that's going to be kind of fun. But as of right now, all these guys are going down to the AHL. I like that, though, that we can maybe see a guy, who maybe we drafted in the top 10, and maybe this guy has a potential to make the team right out of camp. We can kind of see what his overall is, and then we can see maybe it, does he have a spot on the roster. 41 overall. Oh, my God. Uh, it's only one bar, though, so it could be a little bit better, but that's pretty low. But, I mean, for a seventh-round pick, not bad. So Brady Kachuk had three points in the preseason. He's listed as a fourth liner, so we are going to play him. We're also going to play Logan Brown, who is listed as a fourth liner as well. Now, as for the lines, we're going to go with Skinner, Hurdle, Stone, Timo Meyer, Colin White, and Bobby Ryan, uh, Dezingle, Yurko, Kachuk, Smith, Brown, Pajot. That's kind of how I had it in my lineup anyways. Uh, yeah, it, it's weak, but we got the young kids in here. I like Ryan Dezingle there. I like Colin White there, but I feel like Dezingle should be a little bit higher. We are paying him big boy money. But you know what? He's going to play alongside of two really young guys. Or we could even go something like this. So we could go like that. Really give the young guys a chance to really prove themselves against a guy like Ryan Dezingle. Let's try that out, all right? Even though Logan Brown is a center, we'll try him on the wing for maybe the first nine games. And then you guys in the comments can maybe make a decision. Should we send him down? Should we give him fourth line minutes? You guys can let me know. You know what? Realistically, I feel like we should actually just do this. Uh, we should probably go like that. We should probably give Pajot the minutes there. Um, yeah, Logan Brown, da 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 da. Oh, God, what do I do? All right, I'm going to stick with it right now, just for right now, and then in the comments, you guys can let me know about the potential lineup. But look at our defense. Boy, is it weak. Holy. So I'm thinking about going something like, oh, God, that's weak, something like that. So, I mean, Getting a guy like Slitter Cuckoo really does help. It really does. Uh, Cody Franzen, Borowicki, and then Julius Bergman. And then in the AHL, there's really no one to even come up that could challenge for a roster spot. I mean, Johnny Tyconic's playing, which is good. We're going to go ahead and swap this guy out for Jacob Bernard Docker, wherever he is. There you go. You're going to play. I want to get our young guys in here, so we're going to go ahead and play Johnny Tyconic, Bernard Docker, and we're going to give Malhotra AHL minutes. 18 years old, 6 foot 5. He's a big boy. Our AHL team is looking like this. We're going to go ahead and scratch Clark MacArthur for sure. Going to scratch him for someone who's going to play. I'm not sure who, but someone has to as opposed from him. Go ahead and give Riley the ice time as opposed to Clark MacArthur since he is on the LTIR. There you go. He's going to play in the AHL as an 18-year-old. That's awesome. There you go. We're pretty much all ready to go. 
in the cage, we are led by our future starting goalie, Philip Gustafson, 66 overall. I'm hoping he can have a good year. Let's go ahead and send our scout out to see William Carlson, and then I guess we'll get a month of simulation done. So we're going to go ahead and scout William Carlson. There you go. Confirm. Good to go. Just a player we could potentially think about acquiring. Again, I want to get your guys' opinion on everything. So let's go ahead and maybe get the first month done or the first half month. I don't want to get too crazy because I want to get your guys' opinion on the offseason. It really sucks that Matt Duchesne had to walk. And oh my god, look who we have in our second game. The San Jose Sharks. Oh boy, Eric Carlson. Now we don't play them very often. When we do, boy is it going to be a rivalry. All right, so let's go. Let's get game number one done. The first game of the year. I'll go up against the former Stanley Cup champions, the Washington Capitals. Let's go first period. Start off strong. There you go. one nothing, And it's Colin White, baby. This guy could be a future captain. Period number two. All right, so we let two slip past us here. Ovi and Matt Niskanen going into the third. Ouch. 34 shots, though. I mean, we wasn't for a lack of trying. I guess we kind of ran into a hot goalie there. That sucks. Let's go, though, against the first game against Eric Carlson. It's in Ottawa as well. Oh, my God. I know the fans aren't super happy, but it had to be done. We're moving forward here. They're 3-0. They look like they're having a great start. We're actually going to keep a pretty close eye throughout the year on how good Eric Carlson and Brent Burns and that whole San Jose Sharks team performs together. They do have some holes in their roster because obviously we took away a few of their uh, few of their top roster players with Thomas Hurdle and Timo Meyer. First period, it's 1-1. Brent Burns and Jeff Skinner. All right, so we started Condon. Okay, period number two. Oh boy, Eric Carlson scores and Johansson. Oh boy. Oh, we make it interesting, but it wasn't really that close. Thomas Hurdle scores on his old team. Dezingle gets another. Uh, Peter Holland and Captain America Joe Pavelski himself. So keep track. Eric Carlson one, Ottawa zero. Keep track of that. All right, so I guess we'll slow sim the game against Buffalo as well, and then we'll probably get the first month done. I don't think we're going to be a great team. Uh, there you go. That's back-to-back -back wins. As I say, I don't think we're going to be that great. But we do have that first round pick, which is good for this year. So let's have a look at our draft class here. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, Balin Andrews. It's only the first 10 or 15 games. Ooh, Alexis Lafreniere. There he is. So we're going to keep a close eye on this guy. Um, we're going to keep a close eye on actually more of the first round this year because we have a few draft picks, which is awesome. So it looks like it could be a defenseman. It could be Emilio Howe or Alexis Lafreniere. Still really, really early on. Is there any crazy goalies out there? Could be a couple of good goalies. Nothing. Ouch. Okay. It's still really early, though. A goalie could shoot up the draft rankings. You never know. So 2-2-2 two, two, and two to start off the year. Another shutout. There you go. Two of our three wins have been shutouts. That's kind of interesting. A third and a fifth. Uh, so we basically had a fifth for Weidman. We have to give up another third. That would just decimate our defensive core even more than it actually is. I'm going to respectfully decline. 3-3-2 uh, three, three and two going up against the Buffalo Sabres. Jeff Skinner making his return to Buffalo. Let's go first period. It's 2-2. Brown and Brady Kachuk, the young kids coming up. Talk about young kids. Rasmus Dahlin, he gets one as well. Sam Ryan. They had 21 shots in the first period. Oh, my God. Condon getting a workout early on. Second period. Okay, they get one. Vladimir Saboka going into the third, and they get three in the third period. Bodker, the former Ottawa Senator, but Colin White gets one. They double up on a six to three. Ouch. I think they're going to be a really, really good team this year because I don't think we're going to be that great. Seven and two for Carolina. So three, four, and two. The AHL team's doing all right. They're five, three, and one. Can we end off with a couple of wins? Six to five. Can we beat the really good Carolina Hurricanes? Ah, oh, we lose three, one. That's all right. Let's have a look here at how everyone's doing throughout the first month. Uh, Jeff Skinner, 13 points in 11 games. Whew, that's not bad. Maybe he likes playing with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Hurdle. There he is. He's got 11. Our first line is clicking. Look at Brady Kachuk as well. He's got eight. That's awesome. Uh, Colin White's doing well. I'm actually pretty surprised. Everyone seems to be doing pretty damn good. Only one assist so far for Timo Meyer. Okay, interesting. Zach Smith down there. 
Huh, so Timo Meyer seems to be struggling for some reason. We'll have to have a look at that. As for goalies, Condon got the start? Why? Picard is... I mean, I guess they're both even now. I feel like we signed Picard to be the starter, but Mike Condon seems to be getting all the ice. We'll have to change that, definitely. We got three rookies on the team. Brady Kachuk, Logan Brown, Julius, Julius, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Julius Bergman there has no points in 11 games. That's all fine and dandy. I want to see how Matt Duchesne's doing as well. Not really a trader, just never really worked out in Ottawa. Uh, but looks like that first line's doing excellent. Hall, Paul, Mary, and Duchesne. Oh, man, that's... That sucks. And they got guys like Nico Heischer as well, man. They're going to be so good. Zetterberg went to the New Jersey Devils. Okay, interesting. Just have a look around the NHL. Oh my God, the Dallas Stars are going off right now. 19, 20, and 22. Holy, that's a nasty first line. Crosby, Kessel, Tarasenko, Malkin, Kane, Travis Konecki. All right, good for him. Killing it over there in Philadelphia. John Klingberg, Taylor Hall, Kuznetsov. So no real surprises. Look at Jeff Skinner. He's right up there. That's awesome. And he's only played 11 games. All these guys have played like 13 plus. That's sick. He's killing it. I love that. That boy, Jeff Skinner. Uh, rookie skaters. Looks like uh, Twolvenin's doing pretty good there. Quinn Hughes. All right, look at him. A point per game. He's, what, 75 overall, medium elite. What a beast. Uh, Ragnason, who's this guy? He was drafted 2019. So he was drafted this year. He made the team out of camp. He tyronninged it. Damn, out of boy, he's killing it. 12 points in 13 games. Brady Kachuk's got eight. Elias Pettersson's got eight. Frederick Bang, he made the team out of camp as well. That's kind of cool. So a lot of these guys that were just drafted, making the team straight out of camp. Here's how the goalies are doing. Tuka Rask and Jake Allen seem to be playing really well. Now that first round pick we got in the trade was from San Jose, and that's in 2021. So we are one year out, but we do have a first round pick for this year, which is good. We have a first, a second, two thirds, two fourths, three sixths and two sevenths. So we have a ton of draft picks in the next upcoming few years, which is awesome. Uh, I really wish that San Jose pick was for this year, but regardless, I think we're going to have a top pick this year, which is good. We have some good defensemen in the AHL, Jacob Bernard Docker, Ty Connick. We got some guys who are going to be potentially good in the future, but I want to, I want like an Alexis Lafreniere. I want a stud. I want a stud player. So that's what we're going to look for in the draft. Again, I don't think we're going to be a super fantastic team. I think we're back on track after that last episode it was kind of a disaster. Uh, with see if our scout got any better idea about William Carlson. So he's listed as an 80, but look at his trade value. So, I mean, is he really only an 80? It's four bars, so it's accurate, but look at his trade value. It's way up there. Is that right? I guess it's right. Yeah, wow. Hmm, interesting. So there's his trade value. Look at this guy all the way up there. Like, Thomas Shabbat is by far our best asset. Stone's nice. Kachuk's nice. We're on the right track here in Ottawa. Absolutely, 100%. So again, we're back on track here. Thanks for watching. Let me know your comments. Should we make a trade? Should we just ride out the year and hopefully uh, the draft is really nice to us? Maybe we win the draft lottery, which would be so nice. There's actually a few players out there which I wouldn't mind snagging with our first round pick. Looks like Andrews is the census first overall pick. I'm going to go ahead and send a scout out to him. Uh, looks like we can't because there's none in the region. So I'll go do that off camera. So just so we can kind of get a better idea of maybe the top five. Emilio Howe, he's being scouted right now. His similar style is Bobby Hull. That's sick. A plus, A plus, A, A plus, A minus, A. Magic hands, goal scoring, skating. Wow. Okay, he looks sick. Alexis Lafreniere, we haven't scouted him enough. Uh, all these guys haven't scouted them enough at all. This guy, what's his similar style? Tori Krug. Cool. Interesting. I like that. I like that shit a lot. That's a lot of fun. It's still really early, so I'm going to go ahead and send our scout out a little bit more, get a better idea of what's out there, because I would really like to get either a stud defenseman or a really, really good top-end player, like Howe would be awesome. A guy like Lafreniere would be sick, but Emilio Howe, that seems... That seems like a really good player. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.